I've been hearing a lot of voices in my videos lately. Is there anybody here with us today? This thing. Just for a, a side note here, in my last five or six videos, I have been picking up voices. So keep your ears open. Um, I, you don't really hear them. See, my, cam my camera almost just died right there too. That's the wind. You don't really hear them if you're not wearing headphones, but if you're wearing headphones, you can definitely hear them. multiple structures all over the property um, we're gonna check it out we've actually went to three other places today and uh, no bueno we were over three and uh, it was either no trespassing signs gates and we couldn't get in so we came back here I've actually been here before but it's been a long time and um, the camera I now use is different so the, the quality and the content will be a little better and um and last time the way i filmed my style was a little different as well so this will be a different video altogether and i'm sure i missed some stuff i didn't see last time today we do have my cousin with me you've seen him in past videos and uh, he will also be filming at some points i don't know how much but sometimes he will i will also add that footage if it is warranted all right so thank you for being here enjoy the video let's go We're welcome, at least. I'm about to fall through that floor there. You cleared the house. All that uh, stuff still in the living room, all those boxes and stuff. Yep, somebody came in here and did their usual. Took out all the wire, like always. Hey, you can get all the copper out of the corner. Yes, I've been here before a long time ago. I don't feel like I did it too much justice hey, though. Got, got a new camera now. And uh, you'll see what this place has to offer.
kitchen. Anything in here? Tell these floors are weak. See, that's one of the renovations. Obviously, the that one here. Look at this. I mean, look how small this door is. Got the kitchen here. Where is that wasp? Oh, it went in there. The ceilings are super low. And, uh, yeah. Here's the foyer. Got the globe light hanging down. What's this up here? They say you can only fall in love once, but every time I hear your voice, I fall in love all over again. Okay, so I ain't gonna ravage through all this junk. It's basically just wrapping paper, school supplies, some toys, and U-Haul boxes. Last time I was here though, all this stuff was neatly organized in these boxes, so that means someone did come in here and ravage through this stuff. I got some cool lights hanging down in here. This is the foyer right here. There's the front door. You can see how old this place is based off the, the door handles there. This is probably a bedroom. It has two fireplaces. But uh you know, mostly this house is just a shell. we were just in yeah buildings here were just different storage sheds so that's now demolished you also have dang that barn that actually collapsed too that was up over there that barn right there was up now that's demolished so you never know with these abandoned places. Actually, one of the other places we went to was a time capsule type house we were going to go to at first today. There were no private property signs or anything, but they demolished the place. So, you know, when you come upon an abandoned building, you better take advantage of your opportunity because you don't know if it's going to be there next time. But here's another storage shed. And you can see this is all gutted out. I'm going to put a link to my first video here and you'll see how much stuff has changed here it has definitely changed a good bit but uh, I think we can still find some pretty interesting items here if we, if we look around like right here you can see some stuff still hanging up like tools and stuff right there it's pretty cool so this building straight ahead was a chicken house all right so here's a add-on but this whole thing was filled with stuff last time I was here tools everything on the wall nicely organized now everything's just destroyed what's up with this old tree stump in here still it's odd 
that's a cool room it was last time anyways so you can see over there there's another chicken house there's a couple of these on this property wheelbarrow I'm gonna go in this room first right here make sure that door doesn't slam when we call attention to ourselves that's not open okay picture of Mary Joseph and Jesus Jesus there. The mother and father. It's kind of, you know, sad and surreal seeing all this stuff left behind like this. And there you got a baby picture. By one of the grandkids or kids. Look at this. Yeah, Casper the ghost friend over here. Speaking of, I don't usually like to do this, but I've been hearing a lot of voices in my videos lately. Is there anybody here with us today? I think that's the wind but yeah Frankenstein kind of looks like almost like a scarecrow and Halloween decoration in one here but if there's any spirits here today that are going to speak you can speak into this camera and we'll be able to hear you when I edit and watch back the footage we'll be able to hear you Not a paranormal investigator, and I don't like coming and hunting ghosts, but you have been on my videos lately, and I just want to know why. I hear help me a lot. How can I help you? I thought to be absent from the flesh is to be present with the Father. Once you're passed away, then you face judgment. I thought that was the case. Is there something I don't know? I'm sure there is. Hold on. Got a little desk here. Some flowers. A lot of funeral arrangements and whatnot. Coffee cup there. Here's the coffee maker. Yeah. You can see there's a lot of uh, funeral arrangements on the ground there is any spirits here we're not here to cause any mischief we're just here to film and explore and let these memories live on people who's left stuff behind we're just here to document and that's it and thank you for letting us do that cool. smoking old red picket fence here uh, now we're just going back towards another storage area that leads into the uh, chicken barn and there's a door open right there that we can probably make into the chicken barn by this is more cleared out than last time when this cleared out you can see over here a lot of big mason jars here I know, right? You think they made moonshine? You never know. They made some moonshine. Uh, Those are hummingbird here. You got these uh, machines. Uh, some type of pills or something. So we're making our way back further here. This old cabinet oh the way it looks not much in there you got the old siren back there it's cool uh -huh. let's continue here there's lizards that means there may be snakes so be careful fantastic so making our way back to the chicken barn here 
Oh man, this thing is gutted. Wasn't this bad last time. Yeah, I came here about eight or nine months ago. And most of these windows were still intact. This place has definitely seen some more damage. The whole place has. The whole property, all the buildings I've been to so far have. But you see right here, these little little columns right here is where they would put food, I think. Troughs. Yeah, they're troughs. Food troughs. That's where the chickens would eat their food. Okay. You got some piping here. Probably some type of water pipe, maybe something. Got a maybe something for the food up there. I'm no barn expert. I'm not an expert on really anything at all, honestly. I just like to document. I love coming to these left behind places. Get away from all that traffic and overpopulation. table here set up. It's probably where they were maybe, I don't know, sit down, take a little break while the chickens were eating or something. I guess get a little workout in as well. Bike's pretty cool. We had a lot of property here. I don't know what year it was built or what year it was uh, abandoned. I mean, the house is definitely more old than your typical house. This was up last time, Les. It has since been destroyed. Oh, it's good barn wood, though. I know, right? Well, let's check this one now. This one was really in bad shape last time, honestly. This is great. It's Christmas in April. What's that? Yeah, I know, right? Look at that old uh, chair right there. All types of stuff in here. Old Christmas tree. I guess it's maybe shut it, maybe? Whatever it is, it doesn't work anymore. Again, watch out for nails. So, that old chainsaw with no blade. Chainsaw is no more. This is a haven for snakes. So is it out there. This totally overgrown now. Yeah, 
Yeah, it just keeps on going. It looks smaller than this. It's pretty big though. Just keeps going. So I guess this was there's a door, an opening right there to a door. Or an opening to the barn here. I guess I don't see no trough in this, but with all the windows, it's probably another chicken coop. That is some filthy water right there. I love how the the roof reflects off the water. It's pretty cool. That's it for this one guys, I appreciate y'all being here. Um, it's definitely a lot more demolished than the last time I was here, so there will be a link in the description to the first visit here. Check it out, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Like if you like it, peace.